don't need to see nature to enjoy it. Just listen closely to discover what creatures share your backyard. The Okalee song is used by male red-winged blackbirds to protect its territory. It is one of many vocalizations given by red-winged blackbirds. During courtship, males and females sing long, drawn-out twittering sounds, and once paired, both males and females use chip and chat sounds to call each other. If you live in a more rural area, you might be able to hear the sounds of an American woodcock. Near dusk, the males begin conducting courtship flights in forest clearings called singing grounds. These courtship demonstrations can last anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. The morning dove is the most abundant dove in the United States. Morning doves make a low tone moaning vocalization, but listen carefully because the call is often overlooked or mistaken for the hooting of an owl. Birds aren't the only animals that use sound to attract mates. Amphibians use it too. The American toad and the spring peeper can be heard anywhere there is water where they can lay their eggs. These amphibians make noises by squeezing their lungs while their nostrils and mouth are shut. Air then flows over their vocal cords and into their vocal sacs located on their throat, which blows up like a balloon. American toads attract mates with a long trilling sound that can last more than 30 seconds. The call of the spring peeper is what gives it its name. It is a single clear note that occurs once a second or faster. So sit outside, relax with a glass of lemonade, and listen to the animals that you can't see. Enjoy the symphony of nature in your backyard.